This video will show you how to take a video that you find on YouTube and share it safely with your students so they don't end up going down the YouTube rabbit hole or getting distracted by the other videos or ads that appear on the side or end up finding anything inappropriate that you don't want them to see during class. So I have been looking for a math video about ways to make 10 and I found this one. And so I'm gonna leave this YouTube page open here and on another page I'm gonna open a website called safeshare.tv. You may also have heard of a website called Safe YouTube, and um, some teachers in our district shared that that actually had been hacked this fall, and so I'm recommending that you use this one called safeshare.tv. But there are other things out there similar. When you come to safeshare.tv, you're gonna sign in. You can sign in with Google, and that will log you in through Clever. Just have to take a second. Once you're logged in, you'll come to this dashboard page and on the left hand side, you click add a safe view. Now you can see I'm just using the free version. Um, the free version will allow you to add 20 videos a month. And, you know, um, depending on the way you're doing your videos, you know, you may be recording some yourself, sharing them with a friend. Um, you and a friend could do 20 each, and so you could trade back and forth. Um, you could be getting videos from ConnectEd, from Khan Academy, through Seesaw if you're a K2 teacher. So there's lots of ways to maximize um, the videos that you're using if you really only pick ones from YouTube if you really super need them. Or uh, it's $5 a month to subscribe for premium and that you could talk to your principal about using your classroom budget for that if that's something you're interested in. So to, to add my video, I'm gonna go add safe view here. And you can see, you can do this for videos from YouTube or Vimeo. I'm using a YouTube video now. I'll go back to YouTube and underneath the video, click share, copy that link, come back to the Safe View website, and then I can control V to paste it in there. Click the search button, and that will pop the video up right here. And I've already watched this video. I like that it's only three minutes long. It's really great. It has this description here. I'm not gonna make any changes to that, but when I'm all done, I can click the green save check button at the bottom. And that says safe view added. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And now I see it here. I can click on it. Once it's clicked and selected from my list of videos, I can come to this right hand side to this little, looks like a number bond and click share. You can either click right here to share to Google Classroom and that will allow you to create a new assignment with this video included. Or you can copy the link and go back to your Google Classroom and attach it wherever you need it to go if you have an assignment that you already started. So for example, this one, I'm going to edit and add a link, control V to paste it in there. And now you can see this link takes me to the safeshare.tv, not even to YouTube at all. So when I click on it, it's going to play the video right from my Safeshare TV account. So I'll save that, and that is how you can safely share videos with your students from YouTube.